What shirt should I buy? Find out on this week's Thursday Think. So I've been hesitant for a while to just kind of buy clothes. I, haven't, I don't buy more than one or two pairs of clothes or articles of clothes um, a year. And I've just been wondering, like, what are my actual steps? What is my process? What do I want from clothes and fashion that shapes what I want to buy? You know, is it the quality? Is it the meaning behind the clothes? Is it what I want to express to the world by what I wear? Um, is it sustainable? You know, does it have good practices? Does it have low energy footprint? Um, or is it locally made? Do I want to support somebody I know? Um, you know, broadly, what is best in fashion? So I made this chart on the levels of fashion. Just thinking about it, you know, I'm not in the fashion world. This might be completely skewed and probably missing a step, but this is just what I kind of rambled to my head. So I'm going to be showing you these levels of fashion with an example from brands that are local to the area. So level seven fashion, I'd say, is adhered. So that's like bedazzling, iron-on stickers, um, you know, just surface level on the fabric. And just disclaimer, none of this is inherently good or bad. So I think Jay Reed does a good job of, you know, he does a lot of the bedazzling um, as well as he has, you know, a lot of the socks and stuff with his logos on it. Um, and then you go down to painted. And so that's like screen printing. That's, you know, painting with fabric on painting with paint on fabric, fabric paint or iron on vinyl. Um, I think St. Ito, he does a lot of good stuff with this locally. And very cool aesthetic he has, just kind of a vintage kind of look to it. Um, so yeah, and that's the thing, it's like all these levels, it's just, there's ways to express, there's reasons people do it, and it's just, you know, what do you like? Um, embroidery, so that's just a level below, so now you're affecting the fabric with paint, and now you're stitching on top of the stitching. Um, and I think Zue Apparel does a really professional job at this. So they're a local brand, and they have a lot of different interesting um, looks, you know, and custom graphics, you know. So this first level, I call it enhancement. So you're taking an article of clothing, and you're either putting a logo, you're putting a graphic design. So it's kind of like treating treating fashion as a billboard to put your art on. That's kind of what my these first three levels I I, I think of. And level, level, level four is like applique, so I'm probably using that word wrong, but it's like adding utility to the, to the place. So it's like pockets or fasteners, um, whatever. Um, so it's like art fasteners to the article of clothing. So maybe you're adding a belt buckle, maybe you're adding laces, maybe you're adding some pockets. So I think Roulet, Roulet actually is a level below this, but I think he's a good example of it. You know, he, he loves to add pockets, buttons to, to articles of clothing, adding function. Function's a really big deal to him. Um, and then level three is cut and sew. So that's kind of what you think of when you think of like Project Runway or, you know, the average fashion design. You think of cut and sew, making patterns, assembling fabric, assembling flat pieces of fabric into a 3D form. So I think Margaret Burton does an awesome job of that. Her, her charge is to reuse old clothing. So sustainable streetwear. So these are old end run fabrics on this piece. Um, you know, this is just a lot of sustainable stuff. And you also look at um, TS Designs. They make shirts and they have a really circular loop of, you know, process, end-to-end -end process. So that's just an example there. We all kind of know cut and sew. And then, so those two are just function, adding function to flat pieces of fabric, adding function to um, the articles of clothing. And then so level two, now you get very microscopic. Um, so this is actually creating fabric from the 1D thread to the 2D plane. So knitting manufacturing or either manufacturing fasteners, like a zipper, you're a zipper manufacturer, 
So you're building the things to create fashion, but it's not fashion yet. So, I mean, Contempora is a company close to Charlotte. Um, yeah, and they have a commitment to sustainability. And also, Tim Michelle Crafts, and this is a nice picture showing they use yarn and they make all kinds of stuff out of yarn. So, like, turning yarn into fabrics that she eventually makes into articles of clothing. So she's actually spanning a lot of the levels there. Um, and then you get to one, which is extraction. So this is actually spinning the thread out of the cotton or the other stuff or this it's synthetic, stretching it into um, a usable material to be made into, you know, a couple levels below actually making a fabric piece. Um, so like making plastic pellets, a tannery for leather, you know, you're turning the rawhide into a usable piece of leather. So Parkdale Mills is a big mill supplier close to Charlotte that does that, a lot of spinning. And Recover Brands is a Charlotte brand. And I think it's a really cool image here. You see their process. So this is, you could say this is level zero because they're taking a raw material you know, they're collecting a raw material, so it's kind of like farming. Um, and then, you know, so this is level one, level two, and then level three. So they, they span, they span a lot of levels there. And then, you know, they do the branding and stuff. So they're really like an all-star of this list, which, you know, there's no good or bad whether you, what level you're on here. It's just, just an exercise for myself. Um, and then obviously you get farming. So Burleson and Sons Cotton they are in Richfield and they're committed to and that's you know Charlotte's right here Richfield is over here and they have a cotton farm and they work with a lot of local brands um, in the North Carolina area to have a circular economy in a way um, so you know what did we learn here this is just kind of an abstract list of levels just to kind of think about what fashion is and how where brands step in what kind of level brands are you know what is it what is the widest band with a zero to seven fashion brand could be like is a big luxury brand like gucci or burberry like what are their levels like who's making their stuff you know um yeah and every level has a different amount of expression so like level five to seven you know like i said enhancement is kind of like a billboard you know two three and four is more like texture and utility and you know thinking about the weather and all that kind of stuff and then zero to two i don't even know if you could call it fashion yet it's kind of like peep it's kind of like the um bullpen of fashion you're like level three and up are looking at what level zero to two are doing, seeing like, okay, I like this fabric from this manufacturer uh, raised in this part of the country. Um, so it's just interesting. It's interesting. It's just interesting to me. I'm not a fashion person. Um, I love to look at it. I love fashion brands. I love people putting themselves out there to do fashion. Um, so the conclusion I have when buying a shirt is like, you know, for me, sustainability is a big thing. I think locality is a bigger thing for me. Like I'd love to support um, local brands that are trying to do the right thing. It's super hard. I'll just act against you, but you know, fashion consumes a lot of energy and there's, it's getting easier and easier for people to do it closer and closer to home. And I want to put my dollars there, but you know, do whatever you want. You know, if, someone in China is making a, a boot or a shoe that really resonates with you and represents exactly what you're going for, then I have no qualms about buying it. But, you know, my thing is being intentional. I think the thing about fashion, to decide what fashion you like, you have to find out who you are. And I think that's beautiful. So that's my set. Um, and we'll see you on the next Thursday Think.